Tell us about Abigail and how much time are we spending on her? We're going to spend a lot of time on Ab Abigail. I mean, the great thing about this vessel is there's there are a number of amenities that actually make it a, a kind of a perfect sanctuary to, for a time. But what we realized pretty quickly is we're not the only we're not the only smart people who thought to leave land and go to water. So we'll discover threats on sea, which will drive us back to land. We'll be in a very precarious position trying to find some safe harbor, trying to find a place where we can where we can rebuild. Anyone who's watched The Walking Dead knows that walkers still live in the water. So how big of a threat are they going to be floating around, you know, carcasses with teeth? Floaters are not terribly threatening, and we, 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 we learned this lesson early on. Um, Infected can wade, which is more, which is a little bit scarier than walking in some ways, just because of the water element. But no, they can't swim, so they're not terribly, they, they're not terribly dangerous. If they, if you thought they were slow when they're walking, they're much, much slower when they swim. I want to know more about Strand. How much more are we going to need to know about him this season? A guy who wore a crazy suit last season, cufflinks. What an interesting character. You're going to learn a lot more about Victor Strand this season. We will find out. Why he was, well, why it was in the pen. We'll find out where, you know, where he wants to go, and we'll also get a sense of what his interest was in Nick. You know, so he'll become, he will be, he will be our enigma for the first several episodes as we try to figure out what his agenda is and why he brought us on the boat and and what he, what his intentions are. And finally, um, tell me a little bit about uh, Nick's storyline. Obviously, he talked about the demons, like the world is kind of catching up with the demons he's had in his head. Um, I guess maybe talk a little bit about how much of his addiction storyline is going to continue, or it really, I mean, I would say Nick, in many ways, is is the the most conditioned, the best conditioned for this world, you know. And I think he's been living in a, he's been living his own apocalypse for a long time. So his survivability, I think, is 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 pretty strong. But you will, we're not he he won't be shooting up anymore. He's not going to be going down that road again. But I think he'll find. He'll find something else to inject his addictive personality into.